We'll have a special six-round bout coming up for you. Freddie Williams from Brooklyn at 173. He'll be wearing the white trunks. And in black trunks from Jersey City, Frank DePaula. Williams, 28 years old. Thank you, pardon the six-rounder. He's had 18 fights. He has won 15, lost three, knocked out two of his opponents. He's married, has three children. If you have just tuned in, we have a new light heavyweight champion of the world, Bob Foster in the fourth round, KO Dick Tiger. Tiger, a tough man to stop, had taken the first two rounds clearly, had been the aggressor throughout the fight until Foster began to find the range and the style, and after that, the issue was never really in doubt. Now, the blow-by-blow of the fight between Frank DePaula and Freddie Williams, Don Duffy. Thank you, Jim Gordon. These men uh, met last December in Sunnyside Garden, and that time, uh, Frank DePaula was the favorite, but Williams scored a 10-round upset. Williams is wearing the black trunks, and DePaula, or rather, Williams the white trunks, DePaula the black. These are good belters. DePaula has won two bouts in 1968, both by knockouts over Willie Johnson and uh, Matt Edwards, and Williams knocked out Bob Henderson in one round. The referee is Pete DeRuza. The crowd here is still thrilled by the sudden ending of the light heavyweight championship bout with Dick Tiger being stopped for the first time in his career. He was only down once before when he lost the middleweight title to Emil Griffith. He was floored briefly. And this is his 77th fight, and he's only been stopped on this occasion. A gallant fighter. But we've got to move on in boxing, and we've got a new light heavyweight champion, and believe me, he can hit, as he proved tonight. And speaking about hitters, we'll have Manuel Ramos and Joe Frazier for the heavyweight title here in the Garden on Monday night, June 24th. And that ought to be a thumper. We saw Ramos uh, defeat Terrell in Mexico City, and he's a good one. And of course, you know how good Frazier is. Now to the matter at hand, DePaula and Williams, pretty well-matched light heavyweights. A little more than a minute to go in round one of the six-round bout. That's a bad cut on the, I think it's on the bridge of the nose of Frankie DePaula. He's got his back to me now. I can't localize it for the moment. But it's angry looking. Meanwhile, he, he's got a good left hook. You can see that. Williams is a rugged fighter. is on the bridge of the nose of DePaula, who opens up good. And it's just above, down the forehead, too. It's almost like a gash. It could have been a cause by a butt, accidental or otherwise. 10 seconds to go in this round. Williams is staggered. There's the bell. Different kind of action coming up here at the Garden. The biggest musical event of the year is set for the Garden on June 15th. Tonight, Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass will be here. One performance only, starting time 8.30. It'll be the first appearance of Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass in the beautiful new Garden. Don't forget the date, Saturday night, June 15th, 8.30 p.m. Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass. Tickets on sale at the Garden box office. In case you've just tuned in, you're missing a new light heavyweight champion enthroned as Dick Tiger was knocked out for the first time in his career in the fourth round of the fight with Bob Foster. Foster, who took it easy in the first two rounds, absorbed some punishment from some jolting infighting by Dick Tiger. Tiger headhunting right from the beginning. Finally found the range, was able to get his footing on the slippery canvas tonight, KO'd him with a combination of an uppercut and a real booming left hook that put Tiger down to stay. He never got to his feet before the bell. Round two, Williams had uh, the better of the early part of the first round, but at the end, DePaula rocked him a little bit with a left hook to the head. So let's see. They've patched up the cut on the forehead and bridge of the nose of DePaula. 
Williams unmarked at the moment. The referee is Pete DeRosa. Same scoring rules as there was in the championship bout. You'll notice how uh, Williams leans to the right and throws the left, a bit unorthodox, which means he's moving into DePaula's left hook. Williams fighting flat-footed, DePaul up on the toes, very quick cat-like movements. Now it's Williams with a surge. He's in the white trunks, DePaul is in the black. One minute to go in round two of a six-rounder. Both boys have been jolted. Now it's Williams coming on. Come on, Frankie, baby. Stick it. Stick it. Williams is a rugged performer. Makes good use of his solid 173 pounds. Come on, Frankie. And see, he's a good body belter. DePaula trapped on the ropes. Ten seconds left in this round. There's the bell. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, what can I do uh, for you? Uh, well, it's a, it's about my radio, sir. Is, is something's wrong with it. Well, let's give it a little listen. I love that you, sir, uh, sir, the, the radio. <laughs> Sounds fine to me. Well, uh, try another station. Yeah, you don't like that station? All right, we give you another. Okay, keep going. Keep dialing. All the way. You see that? You see that? All it plays is a Schaefer jingle. Hey, mister, tell me something. Anything. Where did you get these batteries? Huh? Round three of the six round bout. Frankie DePaul of Jersey City in the black trunks, 171 and a half pounds. Freddie Williams of New York and Brooklyn, 173. Williams in the white trunks. The referee, Pete DeRuza. DePaula looked pretty good in the first round, but Williams has come on since then and is scoring pretty heavily and almost at will. Two minutes left in this round. DePaula has slowed up. No question about it.
Williams says to Paul in great trouble now. Williams, as you can see, is giving DePaula no rest. One minute left in round three. and snapped the head back as you saw. DePaulo is gamely trying to stay in there, but he's awfully tired. He just can't get away. Frank DePaula in the corner just to your right. Freddie Williams in the corner to your left directly crosses DePaula and a very tired boxer as Don Duffy has pointed out. They earned their right to come back here in Madison Square Garden with a beautiful fight in Sunnyside Gardens a couple of months ago and fought the, time of a, the type of a fight that used to make club fighting as great as it was. Both men on the verge of knockouts throughout most of the fight. William was able to take a very, very close decision, but up until the time the bell sounded when the fight was in doubt both ways. And we've seen it tonight. William was rocked by DePaula, and until he began to run out of some gas and run early in the fight, it looked like William was going to have himself a bit of a cakewalk. Uh, DePaula was going to have a cakewalk. Williams definitely has been command now for the whole past two rounds or so. Let's see if DePaul comes back strong. All right, Jim Gordon, round four it is. You know by now DePaul is wearing the black trunks and Williams the white. DePaul is 171 and a half. Williams 173, they're legitimate light heavyweights. Paul is starting to, or at least trying to come back. He was awfully tired when the last round ended. Now he's hurt again. DePaula has the better record of the two, by the way. He's won 15 out of 23. Williams, according to this, has won four out of 11. But I'm not sure of the accuracy of that. Pete DeRosa, the referee. Williams is just crunching those punches in there. Quite possible that Williams can be getting tired too. There have been no knockdowns in this contest. A knockdown turned into a knockout in the main event. One minute, one minute left in this round. It's a six round bout. This is round four. Solid left, another one right on the button. Right 
The referee is keeping his eye on uh, DePaula. He may have thoughts about stopping it. Paul is well aware of what's going on, however. Ten seconds left in this round. There's the bell. Go to check and make sure that the ball is in good shape. He walks over to take a good look at him. He took some bombs there, but strange to say, one of them seemed to wake him up. He was in the corner, was trapped in there, and took three easy left hands. For that, he almost had no defense against him. Don called them for you as they cracked home. And then suddenly, after he took a right, it almost like it occurred to him, he decided to get out of the corner. And he jumped out. As he jumped out, he hit Williams with a pretty good right hand himself. And so DePaul is a long way from being through here. Although the fact is that he got weary a little while ago, about two rounds back, and his legs, if anything, are uh, serving him ill right now. It has taken some steam out of his punches, of course. The fighter that can't get his legs in firm contact with that canvas simply can't throw that much muscle from the shoulder either. Look now at Williams as his handlers get him ready. Ready for the beginning of round five. Round five of this six-round bout. Frankie DePaul of Jersey City, Black Trunks. Freddie Williams of Brooklyn in the White Trunks. Both legitimate light heavyweights. The division has a new champion, as you know, Bob Foster of Washington, D.C. This has been a grueling fight, and at times a little one-sided for Williams. With about a minute 45 to go in the round, DePaula came from nowhere. And Williams is down again, and it's all over. It's all over. The referee, Pete DeRosa, is stopping the fight. And we had a situation where DePaula came from way back. Freddie Williams is complaining to the referee that he wants to continue. DePaula, a happy and probably a little surprised young man. John, as you called it before, in the round before when he was in the corner taking punishment, and he suddenly got a right hand that almost seemed to wake him up. And from then on in, it was a different fight. It looked like he was rejuvenated by the punch. Freddie Williams is complaining bitterly to the referee, and now he's arguing with his corner man. Freddie Williams, a very unhappy young man. He's not hurt, you can see that. But he sure was toppled in quick order. We'll be returning to Madison Square Garden and more of tonight's action in just a minute. To the fighter! To the fighter! <laughs> well, it was a startling ending. Here's the official announcement from Johnny Addy. Referee stops the bout. The time, one minute, 24 seconds of the fifth round. The winner by a TKO. Frank DePaula. One minute and 24 seconds of the fifth round. The referee stopped the fight. It was, from our point of view here, strictly a technicality. Williams was hurt the first time he was down, and he was out, and it looked like he was just barely going to make it perhaps the second time, but the third time would have been too much for him. He was hit, hit hard, and he was hurt. There's no doubt about it. So Frank DePaula, as Don called the fight for you after absorbing some punishment in the middle rounds, comes back strong in the fifth, Comes back like it's round one and comes home with a big victory, reversing a decision Williams had taken from him at Sunnyside.